Okay guys, so we're looking at the Goodyear right now and um, I just want to point something out. So I put gloves on because we get this comment a lot in, in our uh, how to clean or pluck ear videos. And the reason why we don't wear gloves is because it's next, number one, I, it's this stuff here, see all this here? Okay, it's completely blocking everything that I have to do. So. And when you're plucking ears, you really have to be precise. Not to mention, it's it's not allowing me to, to pluck anything. It's really just slipping right off of my fingertips. And uh, the dog's just not gonna tolerate it very long. And uh, this is the main reason why we don't wear gloves when plucking ears. Um, as far as uh, you know, hygiene and, and that sort of thing, well, here's the thing, guys. We're, we're dealing with the highly infected ear over here. Um, where, and I can assure you that my hands are, are very, very clean. I, I always wash my hands. Uh, it's a big part of grooming between each and every dog. So again, there's a fine line between trying to get this hair out and pluck this hair out uh, without hurting the dog. So if I'm gonna sit here and just keep yanking and yanking and yanking and not getting any hair out because of the gloves, I'm just gonna be causing pain to the dog. So this is the main reason why I don't wear gloves when I'm plucking hair out of a dog's ear. I don't want to hurt the dog and I don't want it to be this prolonged process. And again, these flaps here, it just doesn't allow me to see exactly where I'm, I'm, I'm pulling. Um, and it makes a weird sound to the dog too. Uh, some people might say, oh, the clippers are loud. The dogs are actually used to the clippers. They're not used to this weird glove sound that's going on you know so okay so what we're going to do is we are going to take yes we're going to take the glove off mama because you're just not even used to that let's take this glove off she doesn't even like the glove good girl all right so we're going to um do this again uh and i'm going to show you how with uh, out the gloves how much easier it's going to be on her. So now I can see exactly what I'm pulling uh, and the hair is just going to come out much, much easier and I can be precise. I'm using my, my, the tips of my fingers, my fingernails. Uh, this is what it takes uh, to get this hair out. You can't get this hair out not as good with, with wearing gloves. You know, look at this. Okay, I can't do this wearing the gloves and it comes out quickly, more easily, and just less pain for the dog. Not to mention when we get to the infected ear, you know, how, how less tolerant the dog's going to be. So this is the reason for no gloves. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure some of you groomers will agree with me on this and some of you may not, but this is, this is my experience. I can get it done quicker, easier, okay, and with less pain. I don't want to cause dogs pain. That's the main thing. And by wearing the gloves, it's just a prolonged process when I can get it done in a split second without the glove. And again, my hands are very, very clean. Um, in the one video with the, with the standard poodle, the only reason why my fingers are dirty is because the dog's ear was so gunked up that when I was pulling the hair out, all the dirt was getting on my fingers. Um, so again, uh, my, my hands are completely clean. So we're gonna get on over to the infected ear. So this is, this is what a non-infected ear looks like. Nice and pink. And just, again, this is what a clean, healthy ear looks like. Okay, it's pink, it's just clean. We got all the hair out in an instant, okay, in an instant. We didn't, I didn't even have to use forceps on this. Wearing the glove, I cannot achieve this, okay? So if you're not a groomer and you're not, and you're, you know, commenting on that, please look at this video and understand why I'm not wearing a glove. Uh, it doesn't take anything for me to put a glove on, so there's a, 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 a huge reason why I'm not wearing a glove, and this is the reason, so that I could pluck the hair quickly, uh, efficiently, and, and precisely, okay? All right, so let's get to the infected ear now. Okay, guys, so now we have the infected ear, and I'm going to be using my left hand now. 
Okay, again, I, I can't get this out with the gloves on. I'm going to be on this ear, and this ear is going to be a whole lot more sensitive than her left ear because it's infected. I can smell it. It smells real bad. I feel so bad for this dog. The last thing I want to do is cause any more pain. So on this ear, I have to take out the hair even more methodically and more slowly. So put our ear powder in, dab it a little. And again, I'm just going to take out little by little because this ear is so sensitive to her right now. And I'll tell you, a lot of dogs w w wouldn't let me do this either. And I have to get this hair out. The hair is part of the reason why the dog's ear is infected. So anybody out there saying, oh my God, it's so painful for to the dog. Listen, it's not painful. Is it, you know, is it comfortable? No, it's not comfortable. But what's the worst of two evils? We have to get this out. Look at this. See how brown that is? That's just harboring all bacteria and moisture that's dipping way down into the ear canal. So we have to get this out. We have to get this out. There's just no choice in order to get rid of the ear infection. Okay, look at this. Again, gloves? No, I can't do this with gloves on. There's no way. Look at my fingers. They're like tweezers. I cannot do this with gloves on. There's no way I can... I can get this hair out with gloves on. I have to be able to kind of really put my fingers in the ear and pull. It's okay, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so with this one, I am going to go ahead, get my forceps down in there, and just grab some excess hair and, and gook any, any little gook I might be able to grab out, even though there's not much. Okay, that's about it. This, this ear is really, really congested, very irritated. Let's wipe this ear out. Again, even, even want to be careful wiping the ear out because she's so sensitive on this ear, guys. But again, we have to get this cleaned. And Give me a moment. Just to get, try to get rid of this infection. Okay, Mama, that's all. That's all. All right, there you go. So you can see how red it is as compared to the other one. It's really, really red. It's not a terrible infection. I've seen worse, but whenever you see the ear flap like that, irritated. But this is what's going to help. Now the ear can breathe. Now, uh, you know, without all that hair in there, you know, less moisture is going to be trapped down into the ear canal, okay? Um, and it's going to help dry up the ear, and it's going to get rid of this infection. And that is what we're doing here. Uh, we're not trying to cause the dog any pain. We're trying to lessen the dog's pain by getting rid of the ear infection. When we have an ear infection, we go to the doctor, right, and we try to fix it. So uh, the dog has an ear infection, uh, we come to the groomer or to a vet and we try to fix it. And that is the purpose of this video, guys. And again, uh, no gloves, can't wear gloves. I cannot achieve what I just did wearing gloves on my hand and my hands are clean. So there you have it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for checking out another video. Guys, please leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. And until next video, thank you very much.